Hello friends, welcome to House of Apps English. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to download statement from HDFC Net Banking. So if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now I'm showing this particular process on my laptop, but you can follow the same process if you're using a mobile phone. First of all, open a browser and search for HDFC Net Banking. Select the first link which says HDFC Bank Net Banking. It will take us to the login page. Uh, enter the customer ID or user ID, enter your login credentials and complete the login process. So once the login process is complete, we will be on the home page of our account. Now there are multiple options over here at the top, but make sure you stay on accounts option. Now, once you select accounts, go over here on the left hand side, select enquire option. And if you select this drop down, you get multiple options over here. You can check out your balance. You can uh, view the statement for current or previous month. You have account statement up to five years and up to 10 years option as well. Now, let's say if you want to download statement for current or previous month, select this particular option. And then on the right hand side, again, you get options to choose in account type. You can select saving and current accounts. And in account number, you have to select your own bank account number. Now you can choose if you want a mini statement or if you want to select a particular period, you can select a period and you can select this calendar icon in front of from. You can choose the date now as it is for a current or previous month. We only get these two options over here. So select the date again in two. You can choose the today's date or whatever date you want. And you, all, uh, you can also check out the transaction type. So if you want only withdrawals or if you want only deposit or if you want all the transaction to be included in the statement, you can choose that. And also you can choose the per page transaction you want. Once everything is selected, select this view option. It will show you the statement for that. And if you go down, you have a download option over here. So select the format before that. You can select this drop down and select PDF if you want it in PDF format. Select download. And once the file is downloaded, now currently, uh, if you're using a PC or a laptop, it will show you a pop-up like this to save the uh, downloaded statement. You can just simply save it and you can view it wherever it is downloaded. So now this is the statement which we have downloaded. You can check out the time over here. So now this is a statement for one month. Now let's say if we want transaction for more than one year uh, or let's say if, we, uh, if you want transaction for last financial year, then you can go in account statement up to five years. And over here again, you have to do the same thing. Select the account, select the period. Let's say if we want to uh, if you want to download statement for previous financial year, you can select the uh, period over here. You can select the format and then select download option after selecting download option. You need to enter the captcha over here and select continue and then uh, you will get a download option. Now let me show you how it looks like. So this is how uh, you get a download option for previous financial year. So you can hit download option over here and you can save the file and you can go and check out the file. Now you can see we have statement from for the last financial year and these are the pages for that. So there, there are total 52 pages in my case, in your case, it might be different. So this was for last financial year. Now let's say if you want to download statement for more than one year, then you can simply go in account statement up to 10 years. And the steps on HDFC net banking are a bit tricky. So no need to worry, I have covered it all. Again, if uh, when you select up to 10 years, you can go in account, you can select the account and you can select the period. So over here, let's say if I select Jan 2014, to 23 and let's select December. So now I have selected from 2014 to 2023. So it's almost a uh, year you can say. Now select continue option over here and then uh, it will ask for the confirmation. So if you go down, you can check out your contact details and there is one thing you have to keep in mind. Physical statement will be delivered in four working days and email statement will be sent in one working day. Also, uh, you need to note down that if in case you have registered your email uh, for email statement, the account statement will be sent to your recorded email address and then physical statement will not be shared with you. So yeah, you can just go down. You can select the address here uh, over here. You can confirm the address and you can select confirm option. Now, once you select confirm, as I told you, email statement will be sent in one working days. If you are not registered for email statement, then physical statement will be delivered to your register address in four working days. 
So yeah, if you want statement for more than one year, then you have to follow the up to 10 years option. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.